Six new homeless shelters will soon be opening in Rochester. This comes as city officials have started clearing out encampments and fencing them off. The organization Reach Advocacy has made this all possible. They're a group founded by regular citizens, churches, and others looking to help the homeless. News to NBC's Brianna Collier talked to the organization and went out to one of the sites. And Brianna, these six locations will house up to 80 people who are homeless? That's right, Nikki. There will also be different houses for sex trafficking victims, members of the LGBTQ community, and those needing mental health or substance abuse resources. They're calling this initiative Project Haven, and the organization's co-chair says their hope is some of the people from the Loomis Street encampment and others will give it a try. I had a very severe opioid addiction, doing a lot of drugs. I wanted to end my whole life, but if it wasn't for Andy, I wouldn't be here today. Aaron Taylor has been clean for about five months. He says if it wasn't for Reach Advocacy Chair Andy Carey, he would probably still be on the street. He says Andy stepped in to help him at a very crucial time in his life. For me personally, it was because a lot of the folks I was running into over the years as a social worker all over the community um, were just symbolic of a lot of broken systems. And I think if we start with the most marginalized people, we can start to figure out how to fix our bigger systems and make things better for people. Carrie says they decided to start an initiative called Project Haven, where they spruce up a new house like this one every year and turn them into low barrier shelters for people who have mental health illness and addictions. And timing couldn't be better with many encampments across the city being cleared out and they're on tap to open six houses in the next few weeks. Here, when you get into your own room, you feel a little more secure. You start to think that, oh, maybe housing isn't a bad idea or treatment and those types of things. And they partner with private landlords to make it all happen. We're hoping that it's going to uh, start a new trend in how people are housed and how they can be taken care of in different ways and, and maybe show the community that everybody's got a spot to be in and they're welcome. For Joe Polizzi, he says it's not just about giving them a place to stay, but the initiative goes far beyond that. Our goal is to not only just house people, but it's to eventually get them into permanent housing where maybe we could direct them to a job or we could train them to do some certain tasks and you know maybe get them to be uh, uh, a bigger part of the community and add to the community. Now, Nikki, Carey, and Polizzi are hoping all six houses will be open by the end of December. They'll gradually, though, start opening in the next couple of weeks. With that, they're partnering with Vans Recovery Houses of Rochester for anyone looking for sober living arrangements. Anyone is welcome at any of the six houses, and they will be fed every day with health care and counseling. They're also working on a tiny home village and hope to break ground on that next spring. Uh, this is so cool just because, you know, everybody, we got emails after the story about oh, yeah. the encampment. Hey, okay, you're pushing these people out, but where are they going to go? And here is a solution. So I just love that.